It has not been sweet for the sugar industry for quite a while, and the blame game continues as to who is at fault for the failure of the industry to turn around its fortunes. The Agriculture Minister Dr. Leslie Ramsam is reporting that the premature ending of the crop has caused the industry to lose billions of dollars, contributing to Gaisuku's inability to pay the holiday with pay incentive at this time. That development has sparked industrial action from estates across the country. We also know that Gaisuku has some critical financial problems with financial flows, with cash flows. And basically they have been meeting their cash flow problems and their financial obligations by the production of sugar and earning money from the export of sugar. The premature closing would have meant that Gaisuko would have lost about 20,000 tons of production, of sugar production. And, and that means um, a few billion dollars of their cash flow is affected. So if we had produced 20,000... The Sugar Corporation is blaming the union, the workers, and the weather for being unable to meet its projected target of nearly 200 tons of sugar for the forest crop. But the workers are not about to accept the blame from Gaisuku and are saying that poor management is hurting the companies to our own plans. But that should not mean that the workers must suffer. The payment should have been last Friday and that was not met. I am presently working with management so that we could mobilize the $800 million that we need for the payment of the workers as early as possible. I'm not in a position to say whether it is this week or next week. The Skeldon Sugar Factory, which was touted as one of the main centerpieces for the struggling sugar industry, has been a failure so far, as the industry is still reeling from the effects of the 36% European Union's price cut. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Drakes.